And we are back with our Gen Con coverage. Now we are at uh, Passport Game Studios, and I'm here with Alan, and they've just announced uh, the new release, T2029, which is, takes place obviously in the Terminator 2 Judgment Day universe. Uh, Alan's going to give us a quick overview. Take it away, Alan. So uh, this is something that we wanted to make for a while now, but because we're all kids of the 80s, uh, we grew up uh, with Terminator. But there is one thing that we didn't really get to see in the movie, which is the very start of that. We got to see a glimpse of the future war against the machines. Mm -hmm. It's grim, it's tough, but it's also something that I really wanted to see more of. And this is the game that lets you experience that exact moment. So this is uh, the fight with John Connor and his war. Uh, you're trying to, you are as co different commanders, trying to get him all the way through. Now, th th this is a co-op, right? This is a one to four player cooperative mode. We're, we're getting into a five player balance thing at the moment. Okay. Uh, everything that you see here are still prototypes, so still things are still going to change. Um, a lot of the iconography and graphic design is still being tweaked. So what you're trying to do is you get John Connor through uh, this highway that you see here into the defense area here, hack as you're helping John Connor to hack this defense grid to open the gates to get him through into Skynet. Right. At the same time, what you're trying to do is you're trying to reprogram the T-800 to get him to travel back in time to, to save John Connor to actually make all of this happen, basically. Okay. So the uh, it really does tie back into the the story of the, the of the of the movie. So 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 let me get this straight. You 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 got to kind of get this program first before you the game sets up. So yes. So uh, it, you're actually trying to juggle multiple things at once. Okay. So at the start of the game, these uh, directives are actually inside of the cyber uh, of the Skynet network. So this is the network. Mm -hmm. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to hack your way to find the directives, the programs, to be able to actually get him to... Oh, uh, okay, I get it, okay. At the same time, I'm you're right. fighting a battle and trying to get John kind of through. Oh my goodness. All at the okay. same time. So now so. explain to us a little bit about the battle system, how it works. So uh, the way that the battle system works is you have uh, soldiers, there are two types of soldiers. You've got the operational specialists and you've got the combat specialists or combat soldiers. So the combat soldiers come into play when the T-800 is currently in engaged in combat. Okay. Uh, so you see that there are two modes of uh, functioning. When the uh, Terminators are behind, they're essentially just sitting back, hunting and seeking the, the guys. Okay. And your soldier is essentially hiding behind crates, trying to stay out of sight. Okay. And your operational specialists are the ones that are actually going to be doing things like trying to hack the system. Okay, and these are what you're trying to roll? These are what you're trying to roll to, to, to get it hacked? Uh, there is no rolling in the game, but you can commit dice, and these uh, these dice tells you the intensity of, uh, like for example, this is two, which means that you can push this back twice. Okay, I get it, all right. So, um, the, the way that this works uh, is, let's see, I have one guy, my operations specialist, and I can commit either a one pip or a two pip in this situation. If I use my two pips, it means that I can do uh, push this back twice, basically. It's the intensity of that action. Okay. But I only have one guy, which means that at most I can only push one. Okay. So not only do you have to have the dice that represents you the number of the number you have people, people as well. exactly. Okay. So in this case, I may only just use the one dice because there's no reason to use the right. two. Okay. Use the one, use the operational specialist, he pushes back one. If I manage to get all the way past this point, I get to do a hack. So if I if I get to and one, that's how and you, then push you get these things that's to right. go up there. So to get the hack, to get this tile, you actually have to hack this piece to remove that piece to be able to have to hack, access to this. hack that. Okay. And the way to actually do the hack is through the command lines, which I'll explain uh, a little bit. Okay. So that's how this uh, system works. Now, uh, command lines. So let's talk about this. You have noticed that these have numbers on them, mm -hmm. which for each number that you see on the on the region, these are the activations of, of this is oh, Skynet. Okay. That's okay. right. So at the end of a player's turn, these are going to activate. So three, for example, there are two threes. Right. So this is going to get pushed 
towards right. towards the attack, um, to the humans. This is the this is good for humans. Yeah, bad for humans bad this for way. Humans, right. That's right. So, if this goes past this point, then it is now engaged. Um, if it's on the six, then it gets engaged. If it pushes one more, then it's going to start picking the guys off. So that's bad news. So you're going to have to try and fight back. Right. But meanwhile, you got like you have to fight back here, 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 and here. Oh yeah. All right. So it starts becoming a bit of a swarm. Yes. So you're putting out multiple fires all at the same time, and the game is designed to be hard. Right. Okay. And now talk to us a little bit about this here exactly. Okay. Yes. So once you have committed a dice, that the life cycle of the dice gets to be placed onto a special area here. So once you've done this on your turn, the next thing you can do is take the dice and place them either on the top row or the bottom row. Okay. So it depends on the region that you've activated this dice in and how many of the specialists you have. Say that you have no operational specialist here, you're locked out of the zone. Okay. Uh, this, the the operation, yeah, yeah. right. But, but because you have web weapons com combatant, yeah. you could take this. Exactly. That's right. Okay. So the top ones are immediate actions you can take. So if I commit this to this, I can actually change a uh, dice pip on uh, one of the spaces, um, basically. Or if I go over here, I can ch I can move a jeep. Uh, right. The, okay. So that's an immediate effect. Or I can place it here and take no effect now. But in a future turn, for another team member, when you take this off, you do these the actions. Now these are very powerful actions, and they're multipliers. So okay, okay. So if you if you take one, it gets you an extra combat uh, value. If you take two, you get to kill a Terminator. Right off the bat, boom, dead, gone. Uh, almost. This has to be in a one or two position. Of course, because Terminators never die, right? <laughs> and once it, it, once it gets uh, a killed, it moves back in the zone, and it's going to push back. Uh, restart never, all over. They never, they never, never of course not. <laughs> they keep coming, they're machines. That's right. This is awesome. Now, when do you guys expect this uh, to so come out, or are you guys doing a Kickstarter? Yes, uh, so this is going to Kickstarter in six weeks. Okay. Uh, well, pre okay. Yeah. So not not a specific date just yet, but we will have that announced very soon. Weeks. Yeah. Right. Awesome. Uh, and uh, Passport Game Studios is uh, will be uh, distributing the the game in uh, all the English edition of the game. Okay. Very cool. Well, we'll be uh, definitely looking out for this one. This was the big announcement at Gen Con today, so uh, do check it out. Subscribe now to our channel to stay in the loop. If you like our work, help us continue by sharing the channel to your gaming group. Thanks for watching and happy gaming.